What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Poco A5 and today in this video I'm gonna be talking about the latest build of Evolution X, that's the first May 2025 build. And yes, these are the builds which I should talk about I think. Yes, earlier there was Dolby Atmos issues and stuff while doing a video call. It used to break the video call's audio but then the Dolby Atmos was removed in a particular build but then again we have the Dolby Atmos back here. This is going to be a different kind of video. Let me show you the about section first. In here we have the build date as 1st May 2025 and the security patch here is still of April 5, 2025 and it's not of May yet and we have the Evolution X version as of course 10.5 if you keep tapping on it you will get the easter egg and if you keep tapping on the android version of course this is based on android 15. but now let me show you the thing what i was talking about here we have the dolby atmos right now we have the profiles and stuff we have the graphic equalizer stuff we have the intelligent equalizer as well then the speaker virtualization headphone virtualization yes i have been using the dialogue enhancer and stuff in high and it was working great and we have the bass enhancer volume lever all these things but the thing is with this that whatsapp video call bug is not there so right now it is a lot more improved and in the previous build of this i have faced one more bug let me talk about it after i did the video and all i just faced it once i placed a call i had this realme neckband connected to the phone and i placed a call and i could not hear any audio through the earphones or the bluetooth earphones actually i tried calling multiple times but still the audio did not come into the headphones i restarted the device even then the audio was buggy. I could feel it was putting the audio out from the earpiece of the phone even though it's connected to the Bluetooth headset. Those kind of bugs I would say has been fixed with this first May 2025 build. And there is a add HBM toggle, there is a display saturation, game bar and we have this fix broken now bar option while charging. So I'll show you that. And yes, it is mentioned to use this particular recovery that is the R11.1.7 beta kind of recovery all right so in this first may 2025 build i would say the overall stability has been improved a lot and here like opening apps and closing it it's a like really really smooth experience i did not face any kind of lagging or anything or choppiness at all even while scrolling twitter let me show you how smooth this is this is like very smooth experience it's a heaven pretty much if you are someone who is a performance lover of the overall ui and I would say this is really one of the best experiences out there that I have got recently on Evolution X or even a custom ROM on Poco F5. The animations and even the widget animation and stuff. So yeah, overall, it's a really, really buttery smooth experience. Now in the settings and the customization, you will find a lot more things, but in the lock screen, there is the now bar here and with this now bar if you just enable that yes the now bar appears on the bottom and while playing music it looks like this on the bottom and earlier if you just plug in with this now bar i mean connect the charger it would crash but right now let's see if it's fixed so i'm plugging in a charger and right now as you can see it shows the battery percentage here it looks beautiful as you can see it shows the battery percentage and in how much milliamps it's getting charged on so yeah, this is nice that we have this now bar perfectly working right now and I can unlock and stuff and I can straight go back into the lock screen. It's not crashing. So right now the now bar has been completely fixed. So with the small fixes and everything, the whole UI, it's just perfectly smooth right now. And in case if you want to look at the proper change logs, let me actually show you here. And you can notice the change logs from the screen, of course, if I open Twitter and take a screenshot and press on the long screenshot as you can see the whole thing are like new contents all the contents are fresh over here so this long screenshot has been working perfectly fine right now so if i go into the settings in the display settings and in the refresh rate this is how it looks like right now earlier it used to show in a small pop-up menu but right now it shows 60 90 or 120 and there is adaptive refresh rate as well if I just select 90, right now as you can see the frame rate is showing up as 89 hertz or 90 hertz. Right now if I go into 120, let me just reload test UFO and wait for the timing and as you can see right now it's at 120 hertz. You can also enable adaptive refresh rate. Yes, adaptive refresh rate might help actually to save battery and once you scroll, yes the screen will go 120 hertz but once you are just looking at a static image which is not really moving that will actually switch the display to about 60 hertz i guess or even lower than that there is automatic high brightness mode or hbm you can actually enable that and just notice there is a light threshold enable time and the disable time 
So this is really nice. I think HVM activation value, you can actually customize that. So if there is enough light or outdoor light, which reaches this right now value of 230 to 20,000, then I guess the HBM will be activated. So this is really, really nice that we have this kind of customizable HBM value here. And there is of course the high touch polling rate and stuff. And there is this enable peak brightness for HDR content option in the display settings right now. The 5G speeds and all, everything is working fine right now. Yes, the Geo has dropped speeds in my area, but yes, it's working fine with Geo 5G. Up to 500 Mbps I'm getting. And once you place a call, yes, it's straight up connected to the Bluetooth device. And yes, the audio via Bluetooth device and stuff in calling right now, it's perfectly fine. And even in this build, talking about basic stuff, yes, it passes the basic integrity and plain integrity both. So banking apps will not be a problem here. I have been using a lot of banking apps, no issues so far. Also, the IR Blaster here works good. Talking about the DRM info, it shows as L1, so you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p. Also, talking about battery stuff, yes, it still has the charging control. If you enable that, your fast charging speeds will drop. So be careful about that. Yes, there is right now the thermal profiles. It is there right now. And we also have the battery information. And you can see my battery charging cycle count. It's about 837 charging cycles. So that's a lot of cycles on the original battery here. And even with this battery, I would say my battery life that I have been getting, it's decent. I have been getting about seven hours plus of screen on time. These are all estimated numbers and I'm a heavy user. So if you are a normal user, you might get about eight to nine hours of screen on time without any problems. The screen off or standby, you can say it's about 28 hours and the com menu shows as 10 hours. In the health section for me, the battery health shows up as 85%. These are all again estimated numbers. And the fast charging here is working fine. And inside system, there is this device diagnostic still, and there is the game bar. And if you just enable that, we have the FPS overlay and everything. We have the CPU usage and the like things that you are noticing. GPU clock speed, GPU temperature, all these things you can notice. And right now, as you can see, the screen FPS is actually showing up right there. Let's just enable a few more things. And if I open YouTube right now, let's see how much FPS it gives in YouTube. Yes, as you can see, the FPS currently, it's still reaching about 120 plus sometimes so yeah as you can see you can notice your like stats of the display right here or even the gpu temperature and all everything shows up right here if you just enable that and of course in the system updater it shows like this because this is the latest update of this rom and obviously if you just keep tapping and holding on the pill bar it will give you the circle to search and the circle to search it's working properly fine no need to worry about it also you can just tap and hold and translate stuff it has translated the text to bengali so yeah, circle to search and the Gemini stuff, it's totally working fine. Even if you swipe from the corners, as you can see, Gemini is also working fine if you swipe from the corners. And in terms of gestures, of course, we still have the swipe to take screenshot and stuff. All these things are working totally fine. And we have the navigation mode and stuff. And there is a circle to search enabling option. Just notice the amount of things that you can customize right now. Yes, you cannot really change the pill bar thickness or length of it as of right now. But yeah, it works fine and everything, the overall UI performance, it's just flawless. I feel this is really one of the most stable experiences that I have ever had. And like everywhere, the overall UI experience, it's just very smooth. And I know for a fact that like whatever I open, it will open instantly. And every app or like everything here, it's just so flawless experience. Like app opening and closing and even while normally daily driving, taking a photo or anything. It's just a very good experience. And yeah, it takes the photo super fine, has the MIUI camera, has 4K and 30 FPS, not 60 FPS yet on the like Poco camera. But otherwise you can shoot 4K 60 FPS if you'd like to with the Gcam. I've made a separate video about that. And the front camera and everything with the MIUI camera, it's totally working fine. No need to worry about it. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends. If you want them to know about the latest Evolution x and how it's running on the Poco F5. So do subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.